side and range Every black bear and caribou and bobcat's the same When mighty old Noel starts to draw back his bow and take This is the legend of a man who still remains With the name on no feather Hunting is his game feather and I'd like to take you along and uh, let you see some footage that uh, was taken in this video and uh, hope you enjoy it but uh, before we get uh, started at that I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk about something that I feel is very important and that is sharp broadheads and I feel like that too many people doesn't pay a close enough attention they'll go into the woods with a dull broadhead and that could be the difference between wounding a deer and killing a deer. And if you'll watch when you're viewing this footage, you'll see how a lot of these deer go down, how quick they go down. And uh, this is what I'm trying to stress, that what a good sharp broadhead will do, uh, and it could make the difference between hitting a deer and losing a deer. And nobody, nobody wants to hit a, a deer and lose it. And uh, I just feel like that we owe it to the animal to shoot as, as much bow as we can, as, as heavy a pull. Don't shoot a bow that's heavier than you can handle accurately, but shoot as much bow as you can. Use a good sharp broadhead, and that sharp broadhead is like putting an extra 10 pounds on your bow when it comes to penetration. And I like to shoot completely through a deer if I possibly can. And when you watch this footage, I think you'll see uh, what I'm talking about, that a, a sharp broadhead can make the difference. So. Pour yourself a cup of coffee, settle back and relax, and I hope you enjoy Bucks, Bows, and Broadheads.
out, buddy. He's a nice one, eh? He sure is. Oh man. Where's he get them white horns from? Being in the fields? Oh, he's beautiful, dark brown. I could see him coming through the woods a ways. He kind of snuck up on me. I didn't get a whole lot of footage of him, but he was there. I got this. It looked like it was right the right place. I'm didn't go down before he did. He jumped pretty good, and then he just kind of snuck up. But See, look at the trees, look at the wind, you know, it's going, the wind's going over his back towards us, so, you know, there's no way he could have smelled us. I just didn't think he knew what was there. Oh, man, he, he did the one here. Let's go take a look at that one. Sounds good to me. He was standing about right in there when he was shot, he went right straight through here. The last I seen him go down, was up on top of that hill. That's in that big tree. Couldn't tell if he got up or not. It looks like he went through here, but I don't see him there. That big tree is about where I seem to go down. Yeah, he went through here. There's a little bit of blood up here. No, that's not. That's where he went down. Now there's blood right here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. There's a little bit of blood right there. Look. It's beautiful. Horns are white. Look at that. Perfect long. I asked you before, are they white for him sitting in a field or? No, it's what they rub their horns on mostly. Some of them will be real dark, some will be a lot lighter. That's a pretty beautiful buck. He's you no, know, he's heavy. He wouldn't score a lot, but he's he's a heavy buck. I mean heavy rack. He's got good bases on him. I mean that buck's got a little age on him. Nice buck. That is a pretty one. Yeah, he's nice, kind of a dark colored buck. Yeah, I noticed that when he came through the woods. I noticed how dark he was. He just comes sleeping through there, you know. I don't know if he was if he was actually tracking a doe or what, you know. It's hard to tell this time of year. He didn't seem too spooked when he was no. shot. I think the wind was going over his back. He didn't seem real spooked at all. Look how his neck is swelled though. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely in rut. He's a pretty buck. Well, go back and get my pack and take the bow and the camera. Yeah, starting to get kind of dark. Get the tag and come back and... Get that bucket of chicken too, will ya? Hey man, I'm ready. Let's go do it. <laughs> Watch closely in slow motion. After the arrow passes through this buck, he jumps into the air and kicks high with his hind legs. 
This is typical of a deer that is shot through the heart. How about that, buddy? I like it. He was a nice one, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. I think he was looking at that decoy, too. That was a nice buck. I know. Looking right away from me. He wasn't a world record, but he's pretty, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Nice. He's a nice little I'm buck. I'm happy with it. That's all that matters. <laughs> How do you think? Well, we'll get down and give him a few minutes. I think he's hit good. See your arrow there, Dave? Oh, yeah. That's right here. Flew right through him. And there's blood right here too. Right there. Yeah, I've seen him go down right over there. Way he's over. Look at the blood though. Look at that. Let me get a shot. I mean, it's just sprayed. Look, it sprays all over here too. Look at this. Uh, uh, that's a heart shot right here. That hurts, you know. It's like, see the angle of the arrow, you know, because it went down. Through yeah. And through that uh, lake. If, if you've seen him go down, I uh, I had him on, on film, but I uh, running through that brush, I wasn't sure what happened. Oh, yeah, he went down. He, I know what. Let's just kind of walk on down and sure. the way you went, let you, you see him go. Just by the angle of the arrow, you know. But look at that. Well, I'm sure glad I sharpened that on that. Sharpener, ready sharpener. I can't cross that ditch and it just keeps right on. Oh, there's a lot of blood there. Still got plenty of blood, haven't you? You still on it, Dave? Oh, yeah. He's going right where you saw him go down? Yep. It's kind of neat to track him, though. Oh, yeah. That's as much fun as shooting, you know, Dave? Tracking him. Oh, move. Not here in the range, right here. You see the deer? Good. All right. How many points? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pointer. Yeah. Pretty good. Ah, he's a pretty buck. Yeah. Nice buck. One horn broke off. Got, Got one broke? Well, two, maybe just a couple of them anyway there. Uh huh. What do you think you'll weigh? Probably. I don't know, maybe 120, 125. I thought he was a little bigger buck than that. Huh? I thought he was a little bigger than that. But I was I was too worried about filming him. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying a lot of attention to size. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think he'd weigh more than that, do you? No, oh, that's pretty... I think you'll go 135 myself, but I could be wrong. It's pretty bug. Yeah. Well, buddy, you had a good one. Yep, see where it came out? Right, right there in the leg, huh? Yep, right there. The leg is where it came out. Hit him on the other side there. Zero. Well, why don't you go back up and get all your stuff? Come on back down here. I'll leave the camera here, go back up and get the truck. I'll meet you here and and we will try to get that bad boy out of here. Sound Sounds good? good? Sounds real good. Okay though.
Man, can you imagine that? How's that for putting one? Jeez! <laughs> Man, he went down. I put him down, but I wasn't, I wasn't aiming for the spine, I'll tell you that. Well, I, I probably shouldn't have whistled, but I wanted to stop him, you know, so you could get a shot. It's a good hit. Oh, he's dead. He's dead now. He's gone. I thought he was going to run by it, so I thought I'd whistle and he stopped. Maybe I should have let him quarter away more from you. No, he was standing first. Oh, was he? Yeah. He was standing first. I think I knew it higher than I was going to be. He's a nice little buck. Well, he's oh, he's going to be good eating. I hate to stand one like that, man. You know, I went through and got vital, there's no doubt about that, but I still just, I hate to hit one like that. I know people, I've heard people say they, they shot for spine, but if my head, I would, I would pass it on the paper. Oh, yeah. He was, he was kicking, and he went right down below the tail here, and there's all the stress, and I think that's where he's at. Yeah, here's where he, here's where he first went down. See him? He kicked that down in here. Uh-huh. Probably just kind of rolled a little bit down his tail. I didn't think you went that far. Well, that's the thing about a spine shot. You might not be the preferred shot, but yeah. if it happens, it happens. And when it happens, they don't go far. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why you know I like to shoot a heavy bow and a, and a good sharp broadhead. Because then if you do happen to hit something like that, you're, you're going to go on through and get the vitals. Yeah, you're pretty covered that way. And... Well, it's just, to me, it's just more pretty. Yep. See, it went right straight down into his lungs. Yep. You know, if you find one, you could always try to get up on and finish him off if you're shooting a lighter bow, but we're shooting a heavy bow and a good sharp good sharp head you're going to go through the spine stop down in here in the old butter room yeah that's a nice he's a, nice young one he's a pretty little buck little crotch on him no brush on him well he'll be some good eating on him probably full of corn i think i'll have sausage or have him all made in the sausage that is really good eating Better go get the truck. Get tag. Get him out of here, man. We're losing light. These old dark, cloudy days. Gets dark pretty quick. Yeah. Let's take the stuff out back up. I'm always talking about broadheads. I'd like to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about some of the results that uh, I found out just recently when I was testing some of these different broadheads. And uh, I will actually uh, shoot those heads and show you where you can see the difference in the penetration and uh, some of the things I've been talking about. They always say a picture is worth a thousand words, so if I actually shoot these arrows and let you see, I think you'll get the idea of what I mean. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the uh, expandable head, the, the head that opens on impact. Now a lot of people are wanting to shoot this head. A lot of people, including myself, uh, was scared to shoot it because they was afraid it would not open or they're afraid they won't get the penetration. And uh, that's, I will be shooting this head to show you just how it performs. Now, I have two of the more popular type broadheads on the market uh, today. One is a three blade here, the other is a two blade. I've always been under the impression, believe this for many years, that no head would perform and penetrate like a two blade head. And uh, this little test that I did, I proved myself to be wrong. This head right here will perform just as well, got just as much penetration, in fact it got quite a bit more penetration, 
than either one of these two other heads. And uh, that's the thing that I wanted to, to wanted to show you. This head is made by the rocket arrowhead people. It's called a steel head. And this whole ferrule is solid steel. And uh, when, this arrow, when this head hits, these little blades come out. And it's about probably an inch and an eighth, same as probably this head right here when it's open. And I believe that that's part of the problem that a lot of people think that these type heads won't penetrate is that they're shooting too big a head. They're shooting one of them that when it opens up, it's like maybe two and a half inches. And uh, that head will not penetrate like this head. So if you're going to shoot one of those real big heads, you're going to have to use more bow and uh, shoot more poundage. With this head right here, it weighs 125 grains. It has about 100, I mean about an inch and an eighth cutting diameter, which would be about equal to either one of these other heads. And the big thing about this head, and why so many people like them and want to shoot them, is the fact that they fly like a target arrow. They fly just like a field tip. If you've got a, a, a field tip that weighs 125 grains, that's what this weighs. You can screw this broadhead on your arrow, and it will perform the same as a field tip. And to me, that's the big thing. And I know I hear a lot of people talking about them. They, they like the way they shoot, but they're afraid they won't penetrate. So what I would like to do is to take and shoot all three of those arrows into this piece of plywood. I have a catalog behind it. We'll see which one goes the farthest or goes the deepest into the catalog if it goes through the plywood. So uh, just bear with me a minute and I will take and shoot all three of those heads and uh, let you see exactly what I found out. Okay, I'm gonna take now, I'm gonna shoot the two blade head, then I'll shoot the other two and we'll check the penetration. All of these arrows will, or heads will be shot from a uh, 2216 arrow. All the same weight, same bow, everything will be the same. There's arrow number one. Now we'll shoot the three blade head. If I can get the snow off here. Everything's the same. Try to hit a little different spot. Okay, now I'm going to shoot the, uh, the steel head, the one that opens on impact. This is the head that I was so surprised at the penetration. Let's go down and take a look and see what what the results are. Okay, here's the three blade head. As you can see, it made it through the plywood, but it didn't make it all the way to the catalog. Here is the two blade head. It went farther through the plywood, but it did not make it all the way to the catalog. This is the rocket steel head. It went all the way through the plywood and is buried in the catalog. I don't think it shot completely through the catalog but it did go into it up to the shaft. Okay, right here where my thumb is, is the tip of the rocket. It didn't go completely through the catalog, but it did travel through 314 pages of the catalog. It went through, plus it went through all, it had to go all the way through the plywood. So as you can see, it did penetrate farther than in any other uh, head that we tested. And this was what was so amazing to me. So I'm going to try to get this off of here. It didn't want to come out of there. Okay. As you can see that the head is still intact. It did not hurt the blades. 
I've got one other test that I want to show, show you that this is a tough little head. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this little steel head that's made by Rocket. I'm going to take and shoot that into a 55 gallon steel barrel. And I have done this test before with other broad heads and a muzzy will shoot all the way through it. And uh, I think this head will too. The only thing is with these blades that open on impact, I don't know if they'll stay intact going through steel. But uh, I've shot it on other things enough to know that this head will penetrate as good as any head I've shot. So we'll, uh, we'll give it the old barrel trick and see what happens. Pretty sure it's through both sides. See here, the arrow went completely through both sides of the barrel, penetrated right to the knock on the side where it went in, went through the, went out the opposite side. The blades are still intact, and you can see the cuts right here where the where it opened and went through the steel. To me, that's a very impressive little demonstration. As you can see, that little head is still intact. There's not a thing wrong with it. It, uh, the blades are perfect, and uh, I'm impressed. I, <laughs> I'm not afraid to shoot this, this head at any animal. So if there's any of you folks that have uh, thought about trying the, uh, the new heads that open on impact, I suggest you give them a try because everyone, everyone knows that they fly just like a field point. And uh, after watching this demonstration, I think you'll agree that you don't have to be worried about penetration. So uh, all I can say is give them a try. I think you'll like them. So uh, come along and go with me. We're going to go back and see some action from uh, Bucks, Bowls, and Broadheads. Somewhere off to the left here. Yeah. Oh, look at that, he started bleeding like a faucet right 
right as soon as the arrow went through it. He sure did. Is the arrow right there? Yeah, the arrow's right up here. Yeah, this is good all over here. Yeah, I thought it looked like it went right through him. Yeah, those sharp broadheads sure do the trick, don't they? They sure do. Boy, look at that. Just like somebody opened up a hole. Yeah, there he is, right up there. He's not too bad. Yeah. How's that look? Looks Boy, he'll be good eating, won't he? Sure will. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. Boy, I like these get out here in this cold weather. That snow started coming down, you know. I started getting cold, but boy, it's worth it. I don't mind getting a little bit cold to get one like this. Oh yeah, me neither. All right, let's get the truck and get him out of here. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful. Did you ever see one go down so quick? Oh man, you hit him right in the lungs. Perfect. Boy, he's beautiful. Up this arrow right here. Did you ever see so much blood so quick? There's blood right here, and there's a big bunch of blood right over here. I mean, that arrow went through him so quick, he didn't even know what was happening. Setting up along this old road didn't turn out to be too bad of an idea, buddy. They'll follow an old road like this. They're straight all up and down, so that's a good spot. He's laying right over here. Walk up there. Complete penetration, that's what I like. Easy trap, nothing to it. I just wanted to see how much he was bleeding, how quick. There's blood right over your foot. He's not pumping it out like I thought he would. No, he didn't. Yeah, there's a big bunch right there.
Larry Lee, Larry Lee. I don't believe he went over about 40 yards at the most. That's blood right there. Yeah, he's starting to really pump her out here. Yeah, he's picking up. Pretty sure I got him through the lungs, but I wasn't sure. Might have just got one or could have even caught the heart. Boy, he's a dandy. He's a pretty buck. Oh, he got right in the old briar, didn't he? Sure did. About a perfect eight. Just about a perfect eight. <laughs> He's a nice one. He's got a nice rack on him. Yep, he's a dandy. Hey, I think he's almost a nine pointer, isn't he? Well, he's got this little little one sticking out down here. Yeah, I guess he'd be classed as a nine. It's almost like a split brow, but it's real small. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a pretty buck. Be some good eating on that, dude. Did you notice how roughed up he was? Uh-huh. Looked like he'd been in a fight and maybe got his butt kicked when he's coming down through there. Hair just looked like it's all roughed up on him. Well, I gotta go back down here and get my pack and get a tag on that dude. I think that you've probably got a little better understanding now of what I was talking about at the beginning of the video about keeping the broadhead sharp because as you can see a good sharp broadhead does put them down and that's what you need that's what it takes uh, when bow, for bow hunting is to uh, make sure that the arrows are flying straight the broadheads are sharp and uh, it can make the difference between a, uh, a kill or a lost deer. I'd like to thank you folks for watching the video. I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as we did making it. We've got some more videos coming. And uh, until then, keep those broad heads sharp. Keep them flying straight. And uh, good luck to you and good hunting. Just can't escape it.
Same. We might 